I appreciate all you minty mouth breeders for sticking around for part two of this Dirty Derelict production. I also appreciate all you hillbillies that came over to the store and bought some dirty old swag. Man. And moreover, I appreciate all you dirty derelicts that came over to the old Patreon and threw a few bucks in the hat. You guys are keeping the freedom of speech paid for and the dirty old diesel of burning. Minty. All right. Without further ado, here's part two. I was daily driving this minty old pile of fur. All right, I got some good news and some bad news. Good news is the new fur to Little Rockford. Bad news is, if you hit the dish with it backwards going as fast as it'll go, it'll blow the tailgate right off. It was mint. Everything was going good. Until uh, I was in traffic and the uh, the clutch would no longer uh, release at all. And I had a gander up her skirt here. And if you look close, you can clearly see where there's rope and a bungee cord. Well, that's holding the whole f***ing thing together for the, uh, the hydraulic uh, master and slave. That's racist. Are you allowed saying that anymore? Anyway, the hydraulic master and slave wouldn't, uh, she wouldn't hold the guts anymore and she was creeping forward in traffic and well with no brakes and this that and the other she's pretty hard to daily drive but i figured we might as well make this video longer than instead of 80 year old pull this minty frick in the shop go over a little bit and i reckon we got a uh a, a debt to settle with a set of tires check out the exit wounds on those stickers man Willard, are you stunned bud what are you eating is that a rock does that seem like a good idea he's stunned yeah the only tire that went flat on this whole minty pile of fur was the tire that i put on Am I stunned? All of it. All right, well, it was getting pretty chilly at night here still. It was getting down to about uh, minus 10. That's uh, communist measurements. So I was cold starting her, and every day she'd fire without any sauce. So wait, the start lights still work. Everything still work. Couldn't believe it. Let's see if she fires. It's been about a week since she's run. It's like nothing. Man, listen to her purr. She's tight. All right, well, I have no idea where I put the license plate for this pilot, which is kind of concerning because I was driving it for a while, but that's fine. We gotta swap a tire out. We got a little bit of horses inside of this injection pump that we need to let free. I mean, you can't keep them cooped up in there. Give it four flats on the old injection pump. And we gotta add some dirty old burnout tires to the rear. But first, let's address this dirty old uh, clutch master slave, shall we? It's, it's real under here. Like it's it's all self tappers and and uh, bungee cords. Yeah, someone did a real nice job. It's a little bit wore out, but let's just. I like this door dinger. It gives you a ding like once every ten seconds. It's pretty good. I'm gonna guess that this thing completely one day on him. Hopefully he wasn't in traffic like I was. But he did a real nice job of bungee cording this thing back up oh it, he's using uh nylon rope as a bushing actually pretty nice oh yeah he had her in there as a bushing man that would have taken a while to do for creek oh yeah yeah she's right wore out oh he's got a bolt oh he's got a bolt jam through her that's exactly what i was gonna do but i was gonna go half inch and he's got some kind of yeah this thing's right fiddle but we'll get her out of there and i'll, I'll let you guys feast your eyes upon this hot mess of minty hillbilly repair all right Jamming myself onto the dash of this old fur has got me reminded that I need a f***ing beer. And before you guys give me shit, that's one's for f***ing Toby again. Before you guys give me shit about the Michelobi Ultra, a nice lady at the dump gave me a whole pack of those. I mean, you're not going to not drink free dump beers. So I did some hard fiddle f***ing here. I got the master all mounted. So a master for a 97 is definitely different than a master for a 91. But it was just for the f***ing uh, mounting bolts needed to fiddle this didn't take long to do. So I'll show you minty mouth breeder tomorrow. The idea that I had a while ago. So it works. It's not as good as a Heim joint, but it works. So this piece right here, that's the part that bolts to the cross link that hooks up to your pedal. You pull that thing off. Okay, you run a half inch uh, tap through it so you can get a half inch bolt to thread in there. And then you thread the half inch bolt in. It goes right through this in uh this clutch push rod here and then uh yeah you put a nut on the back side to keep her backed up and then once in a while you spread some grease on here what i had actually did on my crummins out there is i drilled the the bolt on the lathe all the way through the center so it was kind of like a banjo bolt and then i cross drilled a, a, a grease journal into here so i'm able to needle grease this mother every once in a while i haven't done it in a long time it lasted uh it's been in there for seven years or something like that and it hasn't up yet so i'm just gonna add some oil to this one. Oh yeah that'll be good and uh call it a day this old girl had an unbearably heavy pedal before like the old good leg could barely get her done now she's just mint so you're gonna want to note your travel on your clutch 
So your clutch isn't going to be supposed to be right off the floor. It should be about a third of the way up. There we go. Perfect. The biggest killer of a ZF5 transmission. Now listen to all you minty pricks. The truck's listening. The biggest killers of these old fucking multi-genders is forcing the synchros, the master and slave, won't release the pressure plate enough. So what'll happen is that bushing will go, that little plastic bushing in there, or something, or that bushing inside the, the through shaft there. One of those things up and then people will start pushing the truck through the synchro so when they're shifting you, what you do when you shift you're supposed to shift like well i bang shift the everything i own but to shift it properly for a little longevity you're supposed to pull it out of one gear rest it up the gates of the next gear and then let the transmission sink and then it'll go into gear no problemo a lot of people will just force it through and then the pedal isn't releasing the uh, pressure plate enough and then they're pushing through their gears and that's what these synchros up and then they start grinding through every gear so i don't know exactly how long buddy was running this thing for it was a threaded uh three eighths bolt and it wore all the way through that thing and if you think i'm not going to keep this thing around for parts you'd be wrong you don't need to worry about being a hoarder all right so the next on the old docket for the minty old furred is the fact that yeah it belches smoke out like a mother but it doesn't belch out all the smoke out like a mother so we're gonna go ahead and crank the injection pump to all of it oh now this Flat screwdriver can identify the chisel. If you guys have a gander in there, you'll see a little dowel that has to point right at the roof. So we'll just bump her over. It should be right on the money. Now we'll just go ahead and take a mirror or a camera or something, shine her in there, and give her the old Allen key treatment. You don't have to worry about all these bolts going down her throat hole. That's why they put this screen there, so you can put all your they say three flats is uh, all you want to do what for you know whatever but we're gonna give her all the way because i mean why even be in here and doing all the stuff if you're not going to give her all the way i don't know why but this never gets old i love this Girl run sweet. All right, so I got a little carried away yesterday on fiddle with this minty old fur. I made her dually again, you know, because dually's mint. And it was a it was a proper limited slip to begin with too. But I wound the on it. I was actually able to beat the drums off the prick. All the brakes are mint. I went over the brakes. I got an oil change on the thing. What for the drain bung leaking so bad? I put a new fuel filter on it what for every time i floored it the fuel filter lights still come on so that's me and uh now she's ready to do some burnouts all right so all you been kids that are watching this if you guys are gonna go do burnouts in a uh, high school parking lot or you guys plan on going to a burnout show or something like that always take a pair of these mother and just pinch your back brake line off so it's got hillbilly line lock yeah it's meant to do a burnout but when you're done doing your burnout and your brakes are smoking off i mean no one wants to have redo brakes so we gotta go do a burnout and uh i up the last of my swamp match so we're gonna have to go do a little resurrection on uh well a fan favorite all righty well i just gotta go grab the most uh, toughest most robust piece of equipment i got in the yard man this trailer's still fine i'll fix it She's a little bit bent. I mean, it's not even that bad. Oh yeah, just a tow cat. Gotta do a little bit of unbending. Other than that, I think she's ready to go. Maybe a little bit of plywood action. Tell me you watched the Red Green Show as a kid without telling me you watched Red Green Show as a kid. I'll be shy with the duct tape on this job. It's the only thing holding the unit together. That's pretty straight. I think that looks better. All right. So believe it or not, the skitter is a lot heavier than the uh, little mini hole here is. But I mean, we got her bent back pretty good. We went with the old log in 
I'm ever actually. We got this log from the dirty old dynasty to drag her home. <laughs> the <laughs> gear card's got this. Where'd your fing stun? She's pulling hard, bud. Rock it, barb. It smells like hot catalytic and burr for some reason. Had to cut a hole through the side or with the old soup mix. But she's towing pretty good. It's fing big. What do we got? We got a 19 inch butt. K car's got this. How's the trunk latch doing? Oh, yeah, it's still rock solid. Ford fuel tank, got ratchet straps. Let's fing roll. Oh, yeah. Fucking safe and sound, buddy. Safe and fucking sound. What a treat. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. I think I was going to add some panels now. All right, so the way it's looking, two of these need replaced, and two of them need wind. But once again, the dump provides, and there was two of these minty to dump. What a treat. All righty, so we got to go grab some wood for this thing, but we might as well go see how this trailer handles i mean the axle's a little bit bent but it's still fine the worst thing about it is is that this pile of trailer isn't in that much worse shape than it is when i was pulling it down the highway we forgot to tie tie up the safety the safety chains oh we'll get it when we get back but she pulled it good though like oh you're barely bottoming out right? oh i'm not even bottoming out look at this little dish bagging oh, it's a race car. oh buddy just handled her like a champ. Oh. Hold up, grab that guy. This is all good wood from a dump. This thing's mint. We'll run it down the highway. All right, so the dynasty's all ready to go. Trader's all rebuilt. Let's get this dirty old fur to do a burnout. Oh yeah, dynasty's rated for this. Oh. I think we f***ed it up. All right, take two, a load of the dynasty. Oh, f yeah. Oh, she'll handle it. The dynasty, the dynasty hitch is kind of a write-off. She, she's definitely struggling, but I mean, it'll be fine. We'll be, we're good to go. Let's haul ass.
pushed her out with the hoe, we're good to go again. the end of the road for that tire yeah yeah we blew a skin off but i mean man it did a good burnout while it lasted oh that was our problem we were level in the driveway with gravel with the dynasty that's why it stopped it nothing to do with the tires blowing up or you know being a little bit overloaded you don't need to worry about weight rating all right well sack the out but she's on a trailer and uh, it's actually kind of perfect because the wind's blowing in from over there and uh, let's kill some tires oh it ripped the mirror clean off. The ratchet strap got all bunged up in the tire, ripped the mirror off. Come on, sweetheart, you wanna do a big burnout? Kill them tires that the commons dumpster couldn't?
if you want f***ing stunts, see a f***ing movie. But if it's America's number one trucks you want, it's on Chevy. Go see your Ford dealer now. Port oil everywhere. That, that's like a that's a mist. That's a horsepower mist. It's an island. It's an island burn out. This old girl runs man day. Look at the fucking sheets. Don't worry, I paid all my carbon tax. We're good. Oh, look at the sheets inside. Oh, that door doesn't open. Oh yeah. Oh. How dare you? You don't need to worry about fucking dirty old dually burnout. Yeah. Oh, oh. That was gooder. All right. Well, before we put this video to rest, we got some unfinished business here. Is that a Detroit? Oh, what a treat. Oh, shipping crate headstones. What we have here? Only a true proper hillbilly. This is a bunch of mint tunes from a dump. Johnny Cash, CZ Top, Def Leppard. All right. Hook up the old battery. All right, well, like we gotta see if the tape deck will work. We gotta see. This is before you had one of them ass hats that was always f***ing skipping through all the songs. Back in the day, you had to listen to all the songs. It's f***ing mint. Really made you appreciate the tunes. Oh, there we go, yeah. Sometimes they're that weep noise. Come on. There isn't usually that clicking noise. Yeah, she works mint. I mean, it's a bit of a bad noise coming out of her, but she still works. 1991, pretty mint. <laughs> oh. Sucks it's got that noise to it. You might so when I was a young and you had a special tape that had a head cleaner on it, you had to run her through. But if you turn up the bass, it drowns it out. Good man. Alright, the next thing we're gonna do, we need a beer. Dump beer. Engaged. This one's for you, Toby. Man. I like to crank the tunes the whole time we're listening to this, but YouTube's copyright will over my videos. Alright, well, I'm not gonna piss smoke up your ass until you light on fire i did go and grab the cigarette lighter out of the dynasty let me tell you right meow this old 1990s furred cigarette lighter still works mint that means we gotta smoke a butt oh he never left him smoke long it's be a dirty smoke we gotta cut this off she's gotta we got a uh, vacuum leak here there we go oh it's gonna be a dirty butt <laughs> all right Ah, oh, man. <coughs> so all you minty pricks that are new to the old loop tube channel here, you can find an old minty truck and the cigarette lighter still works and there's dirty old butts in the ashtray, you gotta smoke one. That's just the way she goes. <coughs> this best is choking down with a dump beer. Oh, oh what a treat. That's a dirty old dart. Look at that, John Players. What a treat. Uh, uh, Alrighty, well, I hope you minty pricks enjoyed this derelict production. I sure the enjoyed uh, putting it together for you hair lips so just uh, to answer a few questions we've been getting yes the store will be back open uh sometime this week i think it's april 14th right now so either monday or tuesday or something like that the store will be back open everything will be mint again the uh flags all the rest of the we got uh all dialed in to anybody that uh, ordered yet, about a month ago and you haven't seen your orders yet uh send us a she mail at uh, zip ties and bias plies gmail.com we'll get on fixing that fiddle for you minty pricks because uh yeah we were having some problems there but uh we got her dialed in so if you guys are having any issues with that sh let us know at the, at the gmail that i said there and uh yeah we'll get this fixed all you minty pricks that bought a belt buckle or a flag or whatever the f you guys bought we appreciate the f out of it minty as f then the old interior of these minty old furs the smell of cigarette smoke and beer just just completes the whole thing the the ambiance going on it's good the feel of the old fur with the beer and the cigarette stink and the I don't know, it's just the best smell in the world. Oh yeah, and I had a question for you guys. How many of you minty 
Prex have seen power windows in the front and crank in the back. This is the third screw cap schlong box that I've had that it had that. It's I don't understand it. I don't get it. it. Is this like an option that you could have gotten back in 1991 or what? Because it's just I, I never thought they made them like that. All right. Well, as far as appreciation goes, oh, I fucking hate that flag. <laughs> Oh, I almost got it on there from here. But as far as appreciation goes, it's like the thank all the minty pricks that are keeping my freedom of speech paid for. And these are the new minty pricks that are uh, for paying for that freedom. First off, we got the 10 buckers at Michael 1950, LJ Jabrowski, Andy Rowcliffe. Those are 10 buckers. We got 15 buckers at Ben Elbow, Ben, and Aaron Tippin's Hammer. That's fing mint. Alrighty, we got the 1776ers. Mint. <laughs> We got Jordan Perry and Denim Dan. <laughs> we got the 20 buckers. We got Shane Mose, Potato Swiggins, Bell Hole Bead Hand. And we got one fing minty guy from the land down under who gave my fing fat crippled ass $90. And his name is Matt He. Fuck, well, thanks, buddy. I appreciate the fing out of that. How many kangaroos did you have to do to get that kind of money? Yeah, but last time you did that, it was busted. <laughs> it's broken. No worries. All right, so there's the minty fing pricks that decided to join the rest of us mouth breeders among over on the Patreon. Minty as and then there's the minty f***ing pricks that decide to give my f***ing fat crippled ass a raise. And let me tell you guys, with the way the f***ing uh, cross Pakistani and government is and all the rest of the fiddle f***ery, I appreciate every one of you minty f***ing pricks. And uh, I like to keep this book all dialed in. I write down all of your f***ing minty pricks names in here. I don't know any other way to say thank you than f***ing making more videos than writing your f***ing minty pricks names down in this book. Because, uh, well, if it wasn't for you minty f***ing pricks, I'd be fiddle f***ing up chip. Freak. All right, so these are the guys that gave me a raise. We got Craven Moorhead, Danny Dolosky, Jax Woods, Chase Bully Game, 50 f***ing beans the guy gave me. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh, this one's for you. Oh, I only got one dump beer left, though, so I'm not going to pour too many of them f***ers out. We got Braden Hunter, Lucas Brown, Taint Hair, 1776. <laughs> Josh Pride Mare at 1204 2 Ricky Atotaso, Michael Cluet, Michael Herbert, 1776, Mint. We got Matthew Schellemenfring, Schellemenfring, Fenig. You can read it with me there, Hillbillies. Schellemenfernig, Schellemenfernig, 1776. I appreciate it, mother. We got Andrew Tom at 40 Beans, Ethan Belevis, 1775. Uh, uh, I'm gonna guess that was 1776, but uh, mint. We got Storm Shadow 117 at 12.02. Mint. Pringles Can Petty Pabs at 1202. MM Burning Tectez. Enormous. LJ Jabersky. Jerbalski. LJ Jabersky. Jebel. I'm stunned. Mr. Pyro Junkie. Jonathan Bacchus. 17. 76. Daniel Troutwine. Mint. Uh, what kind of name is like Troutwine? I wonder how they come up with that back in the day. You know some guy was getting a trout all pissed up on, on the old grape water. Ugh, that's just a treat. We got Dan at 25 beans. We got two strokes for two smokes. John Whistle, 1776. Mint. Brandon Tut, five fingers short of a full 10. 15 beans now there's got to be a story behind that five fingers short of a full 10 are you lieutenant dan in it but with the arms bite or what levi johnson 25 beans we got juice box jerry at 1776 <laughs> bumble beer and cheap trucks mint charles king 1776 <laughs> jack neoff <laughs> uh we got colin lee 1770 man there's so many minty pricks in here Red line and everything, yeah. LJ, did that guy give me a raise twice? Yeah, he gave me a raise twice. Thanks, fucker. That's mint. Timothy Matthews, Cole Priestley, Charles, Cody Reeves, seventeen seventy-six. <laughs> Ethan Allen, seventeen seventy-six. <laughs> Ron Peyton Brake, jamming gears and punching queers, seventeen seventy-six. <laughs> TJ Hughes, Leon Schofield, 50 f***ing beans. <sighs> Alright, we're running out of beer here. 2 Inch Willie, 20 f***ing beans. CY Shippy, 20 f***ing beans. Bryce, the spray foam guy. Buddy, have you been doing cab corners? Because this old 91 Ferd is a f***ing cab corner spray foam 
fucking nightmare. Underneath, all right, so you guys watch this video. You know, at the beginning when I was all excited about the fucking, uh, the moss growing out of the cab corner. Well, right neighbors with that fucking dirty old moss was a load of spray foam. This cab corner on this side, get up and go, it got up and left. All right, we got Derelict 5.8. Yeah, Minty Mill, 1776. Redneck Clyde, 20 beans. Tyler Smith and Mark Box. All right, once again, I'd like to thank all you Minty pricks for keeping this boat floating because if it wasn't for you guys like i said i'd be fiddle you get a minty as fuck oh and if you guys are wondering why it auctions written on my hand i might have went to the richie bros and i might have bought all the junk that nobody else wanted i mean it's a good deal it's uh you know it's barely gonna fill the backyard up even more but i mean you're not gonna not buy all the nobody else wants so i put uh single rear wheels on this hot pilot and uh they kind of stick out a little bit far but they don't look that bad i mean i was gonna do dualies with the like a piece of culvert or something and i still might so uh we get hey, all you patreons are yeah you tell them what you want because there's a big old adventure that this old fur's gonna be going on in the not too distant future and you guys uh tell me what you want do you guys want dualies on this pile of maybe i can go with a culvert fender and go with the dualies or uh what do you reckon with the single wheels because it did look good in the dually but the single wheels is a lot less work but you guys let me know speaking of which so my fat crippled ass is going to be leaving here at old frost bakistan i'm pretty sure it's april 18th i think and i'm heading down to florida there's a tow show down in florida orlando i think it is my buddy uh dallas over at single drive tow truck guy with the burnout k whopper oh and check out this tailgate i know i got add like a mother i pushed it in with, with the old excavator when i was dinking around trying to get this to go so this tailgate got smashed open with a bunch of batteries and a bunch of it was in the box. Then I pushed the whole thing in the excavator. But check this out. Oh, still opens up, man. Fucking a. But yeah, my fat crippled ass would be going down to Florida on the 18th or 19th to some tow show. And then uh, we don't really know what the we're doing. He says to me, "Egg, we're not. We're, we're getting a one-way ticket down to Orlando, and then we're gonna fly from Orlando somewhere else in America, and then uh, we're gonna try to drive some pizza back." So I said mint i'll bring my camera gear and uh, we'll do some fiddle but uh what i'm gonna be doing to all you mint patreons i'll uh, i'll be posting uh you know videos here and there while i'm down there and if i'm in your area you know i maybe come by and have a beer with my crippled ass i'll bring some flags uh and yeah i'll just bring some flags i don't know how much i'm allowed to bring down but uh yeah i'll bring flags and uh yeah if you guys are around we'll have a beer and uh and i'll give you minty prick some swag i mean you might as well I mean, it's florida or wherever the if you're going in america it's gonna be Man, let me tell you, for this old frost back to go down to the Americas and uh, experience a little bit of freedom, it's pretty good. How much do I love the old red, white, and blue? All of it. But anyhow, I appreciate all you meant, you pricks. And until next time, keep shitting out your ass. Look at that Princess Auto bucket of shackles. On sale, 50% off. Not that thing. I found that at the dump, but all the rest of this stuff, that's where she came from.